again, this is Ambitious Fritz. I just wanted to say thank you so much, guys. In the next video I'm about to drop, I do want to say don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you guys have any questions or anything you guys want me to discuss or anything you guys think I missed or whatever. Let me know, guys. But I want to start off with this. This video is about the sales channels, guys. Guys, you guys are have Shopify stores. You guys are trying to make sales, etc. But what you guys don't realize is, man, that's one of the that's one of the secrets to a lot of people's success. But it's also just one of the biggest hidden secrets in life. But mainly in Shopify, guys. Okay, guys, what you guys don't realize is there's something called sales channels, guys. It's gonna be to the left in your Shopify um store. You guys are gonna see the sales channels, guys. Like you guys are gonna start off with mainly like two or three sales channels. But there's so much sales channels you guys can open up yourself, and a lot and some of them are free, and some of them you guys can create and just have structure ready with your store. So so that way you guys can have a brand because you guys got to remember when you guys make a Shopify store, it's like a brand. It's your own brand, man. Like, you know what I mean? I know people are doing niche and stuff like that and you guys are trying to make a, a, a like a quick money scheme. But you got to remember Shopify is not only a quick money scheme, guys. It's your own store, man. People don't realize how important that is, how awesome that is. You know, you have your own store and everything. It's like your own brand and everything. You know, once you guys make enough money selling, you know what I mean? Do, doing whatever you, um, method you guys want to use to sell um you guys can actually start you know branding and all that and that's the goal of shopify like that's the goal that should be your goal when it comes to like making your e-com store making your shopify and everything guys so the key and biggest thing i want you guys to know is the sales channels guys so let's talk about the sales channels in a bit all right guys you know the first sales challenge you guys have is your online store you know the the website where people go to the one you guys customize and everything and um that's great and all that like if you're not making sales through your online store and that's another thing about sales channels you guys can use the sell channels to actually see if your um store is actually ready to go and all that you know what I mean so if you're trying to make your first sales you know you're not succeeding etc um, um, you guys can actually use the sales channels to um, put your products out there the different channels and so that you guys can see if you guys can make money off that now not only that but you guys will make money off the sales channels and then by doing the sales channels if your store is not correctly set up the sales channels are I mean as long as you set it up correctly and everything put the payment and everything um, you will receive payment from that and it'll go straight to your store and everything to your Shopify app and everything you still get that cha ching sound, you know, we all love and all that. And then that way if you're making sales other ways, like in the sales channels, you guys can, you know, of course, um try to scale those sales channels that, that are making you sales but not only that but you guys will know that if you're not making any sales in your um online store which is one of the sales channels then you'll know your online store is not properly set up you know when it comes to maybe the shipping maybe the payments i will say this man like that's the that's the second biggest secret people don't realize like a lot of the gurus a lot of the people you guys listen to do not tell you guys to actually the biggest and it's a common rule that's another reason why people don't tell you you know like if they their IQ, if their IQ is so high, they won't tell you that. But not, I mean, even if you do your research, you won't hear people say it. But I, the first and number one thing you have to do, or you should have done when you have um, your um, store set up, is to actually test the store. And what I mean by test the store is either you make a friend, family um, purchase from the store, or you yourself purchase from the store, guys. And what I mean by purchase from the store, I'm like, you could put a product, let's say you find an um, AliExpress, and for a dollar or two, you could put that product for the about the same price as you found it, and um, um, and then quickly go and buy that product from your store, through your store, you know, using your phone, laptop, computer, whatever. Basically, by doing that, and also put the shipping zero, you know, like, the biggest thing is to test it. So, you're not trying to make a profit from your own self. You're really trying to test your store out to see if anybody go in your store, buy something, if everything will go through, and also to see how the customer will experience the the your store the purchasing process and all that now once you buy that one item and test your store you'll automatically know that your store works as in your store will work if customer really want to purchase something they won't have any problems purchasing especially if you guys use the test method and actually test your store out and there's many different payment methods i don't know where you guys are from whatever but use the payment method you have or you can even use all three or four or whatever payment methods you're using and test each and individual one like one mistake i've just seen like in um a facebook group of my experience and everything is that People are setting up their store and everything, but they're not setting up the PayPal. And then they receive sales, but it's like not received, not received. So 
They the money people send them the money, but they can't. But they don't have the money, or they don't get the money, and they're not unable to receive the money, unable to actually gain the sales because they didn't set up their PayPal account, they didn't set up their Stripe account, they didn't set up their purchase uh, um, account. So it's how to receive the money. So test not your score will will, will actually one hundred percent help you guys out. That is the biggest key, the biggest value. I guess I gotta tell you guys. You guys gotta take from this video is to make sure you test your score, especially for people that are not making their first sales or a first sell you know if your start is not um working and people sending people can't send money first of all even if they do send the money you won't receive it like that's one of the biggest flawback the biggest thing you should do automatically before you even start promotion before you even start um get, um advertising me all that guys please test your start I'm, I'm telling you, this is very crucial. Like, it won't only take maybe a dollar or two max, even maybe three or four, depending on what product you're buying from AliExpress through your store. You know, just put the cheapest product you can find, buy it, and just see that the store works, see that the payment metrics are right, see that you will get paid and everything. So that way, when you guys are ready to advertise and everything, you know for a fact your store works and start um, convert, or at least, if anything, you know, the payments will go through and um, the store has no problem processing the payments guys like some guy started a, sh a shopify store you know in eight months he started he's like why am i failing why is it not working etc and all he had to do was test his store out and then he find out that he did not have his purchases enabled he didn't have his method of payment enabled and everything so anytime somebody wanted to buy something they couldn't buy it and he was spending money on ads facebook advertising all that even instagram, instagram shout outs and he wasn't making any money he wasn't getting any money guys so he was losing so much potential customers so much potential profit guys because he did not test his store out so i really want to say guys please please test your store out that is the biggest thing i want to say guys and then now let's let's move on to what i started originally the sales channels guys that's the, that's a, another secret guys people don't know about um so your first sales channel is your online store the second is like you could do facebook messenger um and then the, the others you have to enable and everything and that is wish amazon ebay there is um there's google like you could guys can um enable and everything there's so many um sales channels there's um pinterest there's buzz buzz fees there's also another one like House with a Z, two Zs, whatever. Point is, there's many sales channels like Shopify has already inter interrogated in their store. You guys, all you guys got to do is activate them, set them up, and just have your products automatically sent to those sales channels so you guys can increase conversion, increase sales, increase your profit, and make money. Um, I do want to say from my experience, I did that, and I, and I was just sleeping, chilling, and everything. I put one of my products, and that was just a product I just wanted to add to my store, so I got products in my store. You know, like the biggest thing is you're going to advertise one or two products, maybe five or ten, etc. but you also want to make sure you have certain, like uh, enough products in your store, so that way when you start advertising, that way somebody comes, they can say, okay, this store is not... They just think the store's been around for a while. By not ha by having enough products, it, it enables you to make even more sales as well. So I I put a lot of products, like you know, some products I like, some products I thought would sell, especially during the time season. Everything you know, everything matters. The trending, the time season, holidays, everything matters in your store. So I put some products that was seasonal and everything that was doing the holidays and stuff like that. And um, it was a sweater and everything. Point is, I made a sell of that on eBay now. Check this out. All I did was set up eBay and everything. What I mean, like set it up, make it runnable, ready to go. Because eBay was free, and I'm pretty sure anybody who set up eBay, guys, it should be free. At least your first month, two, three. Um, you guys will have no problem. At least you guys can list the first 50 products, I believe, free on eBay. Maybe even a hundred or a thousand. So just know that eBay is free. So that's one of the biggest sales channels I really want to promote. Really want to let you guys know. Like especially if you have some really winning products, guys. Promote them things on eBay, girl. I'm telling you, you guys are gonna make some money. Like so. Anyway, I made money, and all I did was woke up one time, whatever, and then I see, ch I hear the ching ching sound, and everything. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? I didn't make a promotion today, whatever. So I looked, and it was like sixty bucks for one item. Like, what? What fucking item do I have? You know, what item do I have that um had that is for sixty? But then I when I went to my store and everything, I saw that it was because of eBay. I put that item on eBay. I I mean I. Um, set up the eBay sales channel because the items on my store, but when you put on eBay, it, eBay, you, when you set it up and everything, you could, all you're doing is basically importing the product to eBay and eBay already set up an account. When you set it up and everything, you have like a selling, a seller's account and everything. And somebody went and bought that product. And I mean, 
biggest a lot of things is i'm not gonna lie i don't really care um plus not only that the seasons go over so i'm gonna share you the product i share you guys the product so you let you guys know you know why um why it's so etc what product it was etc like it wasn't like a I don't think it was a winner or anything. It wasn't anything major or anything special. And I don't I don't think it's in season as of now. But anyway, you guys, maybe you guys want to make more sales. Maybe, I mean, I'm definitely going to probably have a competition. Imitators people like copy everybody. But I want to share the product with you guys because I honestly want to put value to you guys. So the product was a Game of Thrones sweater. That's all it was. It was a regular, simple Game of Thrones sweater. It wasn't even something really exotic, major and everything. And it sold for 60 bucks on eBay, guys. Um, and I was like, and the profit margin was $40. I think it was $40, $40, $44. So I was like, what the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. I made sure. I mean, that guy has e-packing and everything. I was like, yo, you're going to get that product ASAP, man. You pay me way more than you're supposed to. So anyway, I made like almost $50 from one product on eBay just because I set up my sales channels and everything. And I even made more sales on eBay and everything. But that's the other thing I want to let you guys know. When you guys set up your sales channels, just remember some items, especially your free press shipping items. First of all, you can't put them on eBay and stuff like that because there's zero, you know, um, off for cash costs. You would have to edit it and everything. There's ways to put certain products that don't show in your store, but only show on the other ch sales channels and stuff like that. But anyway, so... I want to say, like, definitely, you know, do your price, pro do your research, do your pricing correctly and everything. So when you put in the sales channels and everything, you guys will increase conversion, especially for the product that's lower. Um, the cost is lower than anybody else in, um, in the competition at eBay. So you guys can check out eBay, to see if your product's selling there. And if it is, you can put your price as low as you can. And don't forget, you know, everything like sales channels, they do take commission most of them but it's really nothing compared to how much you can make and don't get me wrong yes um it's a little amazon's the biggest one i would say that takes the most but guys they will give you more money and everything just definitely do your research check the competition out before you put your product out there to ebay to amazon to all of them definitely just do it i'm telling you just by doing it and it's pretty easy because it's more or more or less just importing and everything guys once you do it i'm telling you if you have a good product if you did your research right and everything, I'm telling you, you will make some sales off eBay, off Amazon, off all of those. Now, Amazon requires you guys to pay 40 bucks a month and all that. So I wouldn't recommend setting it up at first if you guys don't have the money, if you're broke, etc. But eBay, you could do for free and everything. It's, they give it to you for free and everything. It's I mean, it's easy to set up free. You don't have to pay nothing up front, nothing. So I would recommend it. You will make sales of that. And if you love it, if you're, if you're generating sales, I'm telling you, you guys can go pursue it and scale it up. But you guys will make money easily by setting up your sales channels. You guys have Facebook Messenger. You can easily make product um, um, improving your sales channels. So you can make sales on Facebook and all that, if, especially if you have a winning product, guys. So if you guys don't get anything from this video, guys, the biggest thing I want to say again is just test your store. Make sure you buy something from it just to know that the customers are able to buy too. And also so you can know that everything's set up right and everything. Like especially me, I always check my store. I always go back and check out the shipping and everything. Make sure when somebody's buying something, the shipping's correctly and all that. I also check out, and then, you know, and by testing it out, you will we'll be able to know, hey, Okay, my store's correctly. My people could buy. I bought, so I know anybody else could buy, etc. Especially if they have a credit card. So do that. Definitely test your store. That's the number one thing I want to say again. Second, the sales channels. Expand on the sales channels. If you guys want me to make another video about that, let me know, guys. I will. Um, I, I don't mind. I want to provide some much value to you guys. That's something most of the gurus are not telling you. Nobody's telling you guys about this because nobody really are using it, and that's the reason why I, I'm telling you guys to jump on it. Do the sales channels and everything because you can increase your sales that way. You will make more sales. You will make more money, more profit, everything. Increase conversion, guys. Don't forget to do that, guys. And then don't forget, guys, to drop a like and subscribe if, if I drop some good value to you guys. Um, um, drop the notification button, guys. And um, thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Peace out. And don't forget, scare money. Don't make no money.